Hi everyone, this is Kasia. I'm feeling artsy and today we're gonna draw fall leaves. So we're gonna do things a little differently today. We're gonna draw from real leaves. I'm not gonna have a picture that I had previously done. A couple days ago my kids and I went to the park and we picked up a bunch of leaves and we studied them and then we drew them. Um, I want to show you a couple of drawings that they did. So, you know, they did like this plain leaf, which is one like this. And then they do one of these, kind of like a maple leaf and an oak leaf. And then she went pretty crazy with a rainbow leaf over here. So I want to show you how to draw three different kinds of leaves. A really simple plain one like this one, a maple type kind of leaf that has a lot of different legs or whatever you want to call those things. And then an oak tree leaf and they're different because they come from different oak trees okay so this leaf we're going to start with the stem part and then do the leaf so what you want to do is draw a line and i'm going to make mine a little curved you can make it straight like this and at the bottom of the line where this little tail is i'm just going to um draw a second little line so almost like a little tiny triangle and that's my stem now the leaf starts about here you know sometimes they're longer sometimes they're really really short stems and then you're just gonna do like a excuse me I'm gonna move this um, like almost a very stretched out C you know and go above this or meet this and then come back and do it on the other side and there you have it this is really easy you can fill this leaf in with lines because leaves have these tiny little veins and they come in from the inside go out and they go a little up like that once you have your first leaf we're gonna do the uh, one with a lot of different legs a maple type kind of thing once again, you want to start with, I'm sorry, that's my kitty, he wants to talk to you too, with your stem, and at the bottom we will um, do that little tiny triangle again. Wow, I'm almost off my page. And then somewhere above this, you're going to draw a line like this, and that's almost like a cross because the leaf has these other pieces that come out. And then from this middle where your cross meets, you're gonna go diagonal both sides. And these will be the veins of your maple leaf. Now on each tip here, we are going to draw something in between a U or a, and a V. So it's like a curved V, so not quite a U, but also not as pointy as a V, like an arrow almost. So draw it on all of the ends. And then from each of your Vs, you're gonna draw another one, like a little pokey thing on each side. So you go up and down and up a little bit and down. And then again here, up and down and up and down. If I'm going too fast, remember you can always pause, you can rewind, you can come back and watch as many times as you need until you get it. So when you, once you've done all five, you're gonna go in and connect these with U-type like shapes. So you go in and up and in and up and in and up and in and up. And then from here, the very bottom ones will connect in your middle crossing point for everything. You can also add little veins if you want, like this. Okay. Our last leaf is going to be the oak type leaf. So it's long and skinny. Um, so once again, we are going to draw our stem first. So draw a long line. 
towards the bottom do your triangle for the little tail and then if you study your leaf carefully you'll see that it has these little pieces coming out so you're gonna draw one and from here some of them have another one and some don't and then you're gonna draw a second one with a little piece and then a third one and they're staggered so they're not from the same point like these they go from different points and another one and um, I'm gonna do one more and two more and at the very tip I'll stretch this out do it to the side and then do another one here a little one and once you have your veins what you're gonna do here is you will go around all of these lines in and out and you'll make little points here so start a little underneath the very bottom one go up around around and then come back in and I'll do it again one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two And there you have it. So all of the three leaves are done. I'm gonna color them next. I'm gonna do something else, something different again. I'm not gonna use markers. I'm gonna use these crayons. I've tried doing this with the markers and the markers do not blend in as well. And I want to have this very folly colors that are mixed in together, you know. So I'm gonna use all of these colors. I'm going to use some green too because some of the leaves were not turned all together. And as I go, I'm going to layer the colors on top of each other just to do like a little changing of the colors effect. So some of the leaves were um, still green on the outside. And then they were yellowing in. Sorry, I'm going to move these out of the way. And then on the very inside, they were orange. And then I'm going to layer this color on some more to blend them in some more. And uh, you do, go ahead and do yours. Okay, once I've colored these in, I'm going to outline them with this very dark brown. Um, just to give it like a little more stark look. And I'm going to outline the stems too. And um, you can use black for this um, or you can use a marker. Okay, so here you have it. Here's my fall leaves. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my videos so you can see my next one. I hope to see you soon.